No, seriously, Colin needs y'all to tell him about this one because he really likes it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what you show, doing? Show what we do. <laughs> uh, 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 um. Now you do it, okay? Ready? <laughs> Good. Let's do it Good again. Good girl. One more time. Ready? Ah. Ah. Um. One more time. <laughs> There you oh, go. Good, girl. good job. Yay! I know this is not baby led weaning when you feed her with a spoon, but sometimes you just we gotta feed her with a spoon. Messy. We don't want her, we're about to go for a walk. We, we still let her do it herself sometimes, but we're in a hurry. We slept a little later this morning and gotta get out the dough to go get our walk on. And then I'm going to get my toes done with my mom and my sister and the nieces. So we gotta hurry. We ain't got time to clean up a whole mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hot one today, folks. Oh my gosh. Whew, look how cute she looks in her clothes. Oh, Where'd you get your clothes? Uh, There's a nipple. Walmart, Walmart, Target, Target. Hey, look, they left something out for us since we're so hungry. Oh, it's free food. Ramen and tuna. All right, I'm gonna come back and get it. I'll probably wait till nighttime though so they don't see me. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, how's she doing? She's sleeping. Whew. It is hot. It really is. We're having a pool we, we party. Later today at noon. Time. At noon we're going to the pool. Yeah, we did come out later too. Are we actually? You, I, I think I'm you gonna go. To shop and I've got to get something to wear for tomorrow for baby dedication. When y'all watch this video, we will have either had or gonna have baby dedication for games. Oh yeah, and baby dedication is not where she gets baptized. She just gets dedicated to the like church. We commit to. Like, you know, raising being her good and parents. Lord and all that. <laughs> being good parents. Oh, goodness. Helen? That's the father of the, <laughs> the fatherly explanation. <laughs> and what is the app that you use to track your run with? Run Keeper. Thank you. It's a good one. And I think there's a way you can add music so that it'll keep up with your pace, but I've never tried it because we usually just do Pandora. But And you can add pictures to it yeah. after you're done. Woo wee! It is hot out there today, guys. Hot, hot, hot. So hot, so hot. I got a little baby girl here. She woke up from her nap. Hey, rosy red cheeks. Did you get hot? Huh? Yeah. Look, you see yourself? Who's that? Hey. <laughs> hey. Gotta go get her. Unloaded. Katie's going up to get herself ready to go get a pedicure. And then we got lots of other stuff to do. And I just want to go lay in the pool. But I can't right now. Look. This is happening again, y'all. Do you see it? Medium brown. I hope I got the right color. I always wonder. See the gray coming in? I went ahead and got two of those so I don't have to worry about it next time. And then I got some Breathe Right strips because those things help me sleep better at night, I feel like. Katie said she hasn't heard me snore a lot, but... I think doing the seven day cleanse that we're doing, like both of us were just like, I don't even, I don't know if it's that or if it's just Saturday, but we we're both just like, uh, uh, today. We gotta get back on the horse Monday. I'm, I'm really gonna try to do two days on Monday. Try to lose as much as I can before the 28 days is up and then whew, maintain it, baby. It's a lifestyle change. We got this going hard. Look, I saved a couple of my target ball props. The meerkat, the shark, and the kangaroo. It's nail time. You got your color? <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Grandelli's picking out her, picking out her um, pedicure. You got your color? Let me see. Ooh. I don't, I just don't know if I can, it won't focus. I don't know if I can do an orange. You know, I have an issue with orange. <laughs> 
<laughs> school colors. Yeah, but that looks good. I want to see. Emily, come here and show me. Let me see. Come stand right here and let me see them. Your daughter? Ooh, those are pretty. Oh, you got a little flower. That's so cute. Those look good. You like them? Yeah. <laughs> That's really cute. I want mine like that, I think. That's really cute. Did you come up with that design? Oh my goodness, it's been a crazy day. I don't think I ever even vlogged the end of our toes because we all kind of just left separately um, to go do different things. And they turned out cute though. Um, I couldn't decide between two colors. So I texted Cullen and asked him what he thought. He told me to take it to Twitter. So I took it to Twitter. And um, it was between a pink and a green, like neon green color. And all of y'all said pink, like two people said green. But I was really liking the green, and so um, Madeline was liking the same colors as well. And she decided to get a cute little chevron pattern on her toes. And so I was like, ooh, I want that on my toes too. But mine did not turn out as cute as hers did, but it's still cute. So we got some bold accent toes for the beach, which won't be too long from now. So get our summer toes ready. Those aren't like summer teeth. If you got summer teeth, summer this way, summer that way. Summer toes are just cute and pretty. Finished that and then my mom and I went shopping because I had to have a dress to wear for the baby dedication tomorrow. It's just not fun shopping for clothes when you don't like how you look, but I found something that I think will work. I mean, it'll be okay. It was just kind of a last minute. I gotta have something, so. I got that and then went home, fed the baby. Colin was taking care of her while I was running all those errands. So that was nice and wonderful and I appreciate him doing that. And then ran back out because I had some Mother's Day shopping to do myself for my mother and to pick up Gaines cake for her baby dedication tomorrow. So OMG, I had to walk into the stinking, actually it's not stinking, it smells really good, bakery to pick up the cake and like, oh my gosh, cupcakes everywhere, the delicious like yummy breads and <sighs> cupcakes and cakes and the smells and like, oh my gosh, I don't tend to really be a huge cupcake person. Like I'd rather eat a slice of cake than a cupcake, but I would have eaten like all 50 million of those cupcakes in there. Mm. Anyways, but her cake turned out pretty cute. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. I'll show y'all later, but it's all taped up right now. It's just not quite what I thought it was going to be. So I'm a little disappointed in that, but oh well, um, it'll be fine. And now I'm going to do some more Mother's Day shopping, try to get that wrapped up. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just rambling, but I'm just telling y'all what's been going on today and what I have been doing. And I still haven't showered from after we walked this morning and it's currently 91 degrees. So you can imagine that I smell real good. <laughs> y'all, I just went in Petco. I had to come back out and get the camera because they have puppies and there's one that looks like a little baby ate a belt a little bit. It's so cute. Hey puppies. Come here. Oh, look how cute they are. Look how cute. Hey. Hey. Look how cute you are. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're so cute. You are so cute. You're so pretty too. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Typical, typical Mother's Day section of the cards. Typical card section before Mother's Day. <laughs> oh man. A little extra buggy ride for you. A little extra buggy ride for you. We had to go to Target and get some Mother's Day cards and return a couple things. And now we're going to Kohl's to look for Cullen to see. This is my second time to go to Kohl's today. And it's just still one of those days. We are still out and going. It's almost seven o'clock. And then after that, Cullen's gotta go to Sprouts and get food. And all I really want for Mother's Day is to go to Beefo Brady's and eat a buffalo chicken sandwich and some fried pickles. But no, we're gonna eat some healthy salmon jambalaya. Fabulous, and I'm sure it will taste wonderful. But, but you know. <laughs> like, look how weird she looks. <laughs> Talking to a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the temptation is real today. I'm like, it's Mother's Day. I want to eat what I want to eat, but it's not going to happen. So we're going to stick to it. We're not cheating. Don't worry. 
All right, let's see it. <laughs> you can tell by the way I move my walk, I'm a ladies' man, no time to talk. <laughs> I like it, and it looks good. Yeah, yeah, I like it with the shorts and that shirt. I, like it with the, uh, I mean, I think it fits. You look very slim. Looks good. We just needed a. Uh, he needed a black suit for tomorrow. Suit. So, this is a performance series, so I can go run it after this. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Colin needs y'all to tell him about this one because he really likes it. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> you're crazy. For baby dedication, maybe not. It does match your shirt Easter? well. Maybe Easter. Look at this. I mean, it's even got the the nice inside and a vest. These are sexy. Look at this. Look at this. Salmon. 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 Speaking of that, we gotta go to Sprouts again. This is one of those nights where I was like, "Please, can we just stop at Zaxby's?" Actually, you said that. <laughs> well, I was saying to get a salad. Yeah. Right? Then I was like, but they got ranch dressing. And, then... and they got nibblers. <laughs> yeah, nibblers. But um, it looks delicious. Yeah. I added some fake cheese to mine just to like take down the spice a little bit and because I like cheese and everything. Yeah, so. I added a little bit too much cayenne pepper. <laughs> Let me just taste it. It's really, really hot too. Not that spicy. You don't think? No. <laughs> it made me cough a no, little. No, it's really not. It's not that bad. But it's got salmon and shrimp and just, oh my gosh, it's mm. going to be so good. It's okay. like seafood gumbo almost. We got to eat. Happy Mother's Day. That was your gift. Uh, thank you. It's delicious. <laughs> it was really good though. My, I can't feel my lips right now. Yeah, if my lips were chapped, I would be like, oh my gosh, this yes. is, this is very spicy. Fire but it, it reminded me of my grandmother's gumbo, like seafood gumbo. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. It was very delicious. Like, it was legit. It was legit. Like, I was just sitting here thinking, I was like, after this detox is over, when we're trying to think of good, healthy, clean meals to eat, we need to just look back at your Instagram and pull up some. Uh, like, this true. is definitely a favorite. Yeah, I would definitely do this again. Um, there's several that, that we've said that about, so. Speaking of Mother's Day, though, we have uh, lots of mothers that watch. So, happy Mother's Day to you. Hope you are getting treated well. And happy Mother's Day to you, Thank your first you. one. Thank you. And we also have lots of mothers, I'm sure, who want to be a mother and have not gotten there yet. And it makes me cry just thinking about that. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. And, uh... yeah, I thought we were not going to talk about this right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Our um, church sent like a handkerchief, like a, mm -hmm. it said mother handkerchief in the mail. I was like, why would you, why did they send that? And I was like, I don't, are you going to have to take a handkerchief up for the baby dedication tomorrow? And then you said. I was like, probably because I'm going to be crying through the whole thing. And I was like, no, you're not. Don't like, do that. And then you're like, but do you realize like the past two Mother's Days you've sat up there. Like, well, two Mother's Days ago was when we had had a miscarriage in January and then had been trying again and hadn't gotten pregnant yet. And I just remember sitting there and I literally cried just about the whole service. Like, I just wasn't prepared that it was going to be really hard. And they talked a lot about Mother's Day in the service. And it was just, it was really, really hard. Um, and I just remember crying the whole time. And I was like, this, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is just horrible. It just was a lot of emotions. And then last Mother's Day, I remember the week of Mother's Day, I had felt Gaines move for the first time, just like little thud, thud, bubble, bubble. And um, I remember sitting in church and feeling her move and being like, oh my gosh, this is just so cool. But of course, we were still super anxious forever about like whether she was going to be okay. So, you know, there was that going on too. And then this Mother's Day, not only are we going to be there knowing we have a baby, but being her baby dedicated. dedication, which at a lot of churches, I think, do baby dedications on Mother's Day, but they do like multiple babies all at once. Our church, every single week of the year, does, I mean, there may be one or two that aren't babies dedicated, but do just one family, one baby at a time, um, because it's that person or that baby special time where the family, um, they just, we talk about kind of um, blessing the baby and um, com the church committing to um, providing the good godly role models and being there for the baby and um, the same goes for the parents. So 
we do that one at a time and so it was just really crazy that we got Mother's Day because I mean I know how ironic like, after all the troubles I know it's just really really special so I should probably just cry now and get it over with so I won't <laughs> cry up on stage but just for those of y'all that are still wanting to be mothers just know that we've been there and we know and there's not much we can say to make it better but just know that we know how you feel yeah. and that you're in our thoughts and our prayers as you go through this day um also for people who have lost their mother within the year or within the past however long of your life um i know that's also a very hard thing to deal with at mother's day as well um what was it we heard a statistic like it was two years ago or a year ago or something about Mother's Day being the number one most emotional holiday of yeah. ever. Because I mean, everybody has that like mother bond. You know, a lot of people aren't, um, you know, a lot of people either don't know their fathers or their fathers weren't involved. But for the majority of people, I think, you know, mothers, everybody kind of has a mother figure at least and brings up a lot of emotions for a lot of people. Yeah. So happy Mother's Day and I just think that with these vlogs and videos, a lot of the comments that we hear, the the hopefulness that we provide, and I just think that that's important to stick to is that there's always hope that y'all can have. I'm talking about mothers to, or that want to be people that want to be mothers that are still trying and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just. And what was the um, what's the thing Missy does every I year? I'm a mother. I'm a mother. Yeah, that's, the, all, that's pretty emotional too when she does that. Yeah, the idea that anybody who, whether you actually are holding your baby in your arms, whether you've been pregnant and lost a baby, whether you are have the strong desire in your heart and are trying and have not been able to get pregnant, that you are a mother because you have that desire in your heart right. and you have love for a child that you don't even know, which is just crazy. But if those of you who are wanting and wishing and hoping, you know that you can love a child that you don't even know yet. So I can't believe, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've set up in the transept and just been like, that baby's getting dedicated. When is our baby going to be up there yeah. getting dedicated? When oh, yeah, are we going to be up true. there? Because like, we watch it every single Sunday. Yeah. I mean, every Sunday when we were going through what we were going through, Colin would be like, it must be nice. You know? <laughs> well, just picking out a suit tonight, it was just kind of like a stamp of approval that I'm doing this so I can get up in front of the church to have my daughter dedicated. Like, that was just, I was kind of, it was kind of, I, it was just like, I should have gotten a new suit tonight. Like yeah, I needed to get yeah. that to like have that like reward. Definitely. Of, even though you we checked out and you're like Happy Mother's Day, Cullen. <laughs> said, Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. <laughs> In advance. But you, I mean, you needed a new suit anyway. But yes, you did need something to. I mean, it's a big day. It's something we've looked forward to. I know that I've looked forward to even before we got married, just knowing it was something I was going to do eventually. Yes. So it's very special and. We're very thankful to be where we are and for our precious little wonderful blessing. Yes, yes. So anyway, dinner and a chat, rambling on about mothers. This has probably been a really long vlog. Happy Mother's Day. Earlier. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Everybody go hug your mom or, if, you know, celebrate it in some way. And we will see you at OTFS. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. Bye. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> Let me have it, mommy. Oh. <laughs> I'm safe and sound when you're Cause you won't break it